Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com. Tonight, brand new brewery, brand new beer. Never had this one before. This is the Tuber IPA. Very cool looking can. You've got this guy kind of pushing through uh, what appears to be beer barrels on the front of this little uh, homemade uh, wooden carved boat. This is out of the James River Brewery in Scottsville, Virginia. Uh, never heard of the brewery, never heard of the beer, know very little about it. Um, this is supposed to be a um, refreshing and easy to drink hopped beer brewed with mosaic and falconer hops. Um, like the tubers that travel down the James River, uh, floral and piney hops glide over your palate throughout this well-balanced golden brown hued IPA. Bitter hops hit first and the piney finish leaves you thirsty for the next sip. IBVs are, ABVs, excuse me, not IBVs, ABVs are 6.5%, IBUs are 60. Came in a single, um, did not have six packs. Um, I really, and I bought it because of the can. I mean, that's what caught my eye. I thought, man, that's a cool looking can. Two-tone, two cool little dude in the, in the, in the boat there. Um, so I haven't had it yet about it. Uh, I can't really give you a price point because unfortunately um, I bought it for a single for I think three dollars which these days is not that bad. All right so what we have in the glass here I know the lighting is not that great but this is a um, uh, hmm, I'd call this a cloudy um, IPA. It's, it's, it's orangish in nature. You can kind of see your finger. There's nothing residual floating around. Um, there's nice carbonation to it, a uh, little thin, white, frothy, foamy head on it, a little bit, little bit of lacing in the glass, but it's just kind of cloudy. It's not that really kind of thick, hazy beer that a lot of them are coming out with these days. Aroma smells like mosaic hops, banging hops. You can smell them. They smell absolutely great. Um, definitely has a little bit of that pine needle to it. Um, there's, there's some grapefruit in here which smells really good. Um, but I think I would say the main aroma that's really coming out is the, are the mosaic hops. So there's a little bit of stuff floating around, but it's not a ton. So as we say, cheers, let's get into the glass. That's pretty good. So this is the type of IPA that I would conclude on this review, they're trying really hard, and they're close to being one of the upper echelon IPAs, but they're not quite there. Um, it's got a little bit of a bland finish to it. Um, it's definitely got some fresh hops to it. Let's see, hold on, let's see when this was brewed. Well, here's the problem right here. This was brewed one, two, three, this was brewed five months ago. And, I mean, these things start to separate. That's probably why there's some stuff floating around. So, unfortunately, this isn't one of the fresh ones. But you can tell that things are trying to come together with the, the fruitiness and the pininess. And there's some nice little malt background to it. Subtle, but there. And really good, strong mosaic presence. It just doesn't really come together. It's just kind of, blah, at the end. And that's unfortunate because this IPA market, and I get on soapboxes all the time in my reviews about and being flooded and everyone's trying to be the big dog and everyone's trying really hard to do really well at it it's hard to be one of the big ones and I just think right now it's one of those scenarios where I, I mean again you've got to get them fresh this one isn't so unfair on that review they've got to have some uniqueness to them this one really to me doesn't it's a, it's a mosaic IPA with some kind of other stuff kind of there but not really coming together in a nice mesh of a uh, aroma and flavor um, but you never know um, I'm assuming this is a fairly new brewery didn't do a lot of research on it but hopefully the old tuber IPA kind of steps it up a nickel here in the future we rate our beers to one and five again not fresh but I'd give us about a two um, it's just it's just not very exciting and again it's it, it's something where I can see that they're going after a certain kind of flavor trend and they're just not coming together at this point so if you've tried it and you were able to get it fresh, 
and you have a different opinion, please leave comments on your YouTube channel. I'd love to hear what your opinion is. But right now, this is a, a beer I wouldn't buy again unless next time I, you know, get it very, very fresh. Um, so, that's what we have right now. The old Tuber IPA. Uh, as always, we appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.